kids and welcome to today's video about Easter. So what is Easter? What are we celebrating this week? The story of Easter begins in the book of Genesis when God created a perfect world and he created Adam and Eve, the first humans. Adam and Eve disobeyed the Lord and so their sin separated them from God. God is a holy and perfect God and so our sin separated us from Him, from His presence. The Bible teaches us that the wages of sin is death. The consequence of sinning is death. So in order for humans to be able to be cleansed and washed from their sin was through death. And so because humans were sinning from the very beginning, what would the consequence be of someone who sins? According to the Bible, it would be death. So for humans not to have to die every single time they sin, God allowed them to do a sacrifice once a year with an animal so that their sins could be forgiven. But it wasn't a perfect sacrifice because they had to do it every single year in order for their sins to be forgiven. So although they had a solution, it was temporary. And so every single year they had to do this sacrifice, but we needed a permanent solution, a solution to our sin that would last forever. We needed this because although humans were able to have their sins forgiven for some time, we were still not allowed in the presence of God. And so we needed someone to help us get closer to God again. So what did God do? The Bible says in Romans 5, 8, but God showed his great love for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were still sinners. This was us. From the very beginning, we have been doing things that upset the Lord, that make the Lord feel sad, right? Because we continuously sin. We do things every single day that do not please Him. And so all of this sin was on us, right? And so what did Jesus do? What did God do? do. God sent his son Jesus down to earth to live as a human, as a man, and to die for our sins, to be the perfect sacrifice for our sins. So he took all of our sins, all of our sins, and he placed them on himself. He carried them on the cross and he died as the perfect sacrifice for our sin. The blood that he shed on the cross paid for our freedom, our forgiveness from sin. A perfect man, a man that never sinned, a man that didn't deserve to die, but he loved us so much that he came down to this earth and he decided sacrifice himself and die on the cross for you and for me. But the story doesn't stop there. On the third day after he died, he resurrected. He came back to life. Jesus came back to life so that we can also have life and so that we can have eternal life with our Lord and Father. The Bible says that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. We were once separated from God because of our sin, but Jesus came to be the bridge. He came to be the bridge that united, united us again to the Father. And so now we have access to the presence of God thanks to Jesus. He is the way, He is the truth, He is the life, and no one can come to the Father except through Jesus. It is only through Jesus that we can have a real relationship with God. All we have to do is believe in Him and choose to follow Him for the rest of our lives. There's no money to give. 
All we have to do is believe in him and accept that wonderful gift that he did for us. Once you decide to follow him, he cleanses you from all of your sins. He promised eternal life, a life with him forever. If that is not the best news ever, I don't know what is. Do you know Jesus? Do you believe that he died and he rose for you so that you can have life? Have you accepted Jesus Christ into your heart? If your answer was yes, that is amazing. Congratulations. Don't forget that Easter is a time where we celebrate his sacrifice on the cross for us. And you know, these, this news, it's too good for us to stay quiet and only keep it to ourselves. We have to share it with everyone that we know. Everyone has to know about this amazing thing that Jesus did for us on the cross. And if your answer was no, and you don't know Jesus yet, if he's not in your heart, well, today is the day for you to do so. All you have to do is say this prayer with me. Believe in Jesus Christ and decide to follow him. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for your sacrifice on the cross. Thank you for loving me so very much that you decided to send your only son. Lord, I believe in you. I believe in what you did for me. And today I am deciding to follow you for the rest of my life. Lord, help me. Clean me of my sin. Help me to follow you. Teach me, oh Lord, how to follow you, how to serve you, how to be a good son or daughter for you, Lord. I love you so much and I want you to be in my heart for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name. Amen! Amazing! Congratulations! You are now a son or daughter of our Lord. Don't forget that we celebrate Easter every single day. Although we make this week very special um, in the year, every single day we have a reason to celebrate Jesus, to celebrate the love that we have received from God. If you have any questions reach out to us let us know and we'd be happy to answer your questions kisses and have a happy easter